Oh, I see. I can't even hit it. Ah. Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to Duke 3D. Okay. Didn't know this bastard would come running in. Welcome to Duke 3D American Assault. As I get assaulted immediately by this jackass here. I guess that's why it's called American Assault. Because Duke Nukem is all American and he just, he just got assaulted. I know, bad joke. Whatever, Mike. Oh boy, we got a lot of those guys. Better be careful, huh? Oh boy. Ah, damn. Luckily, I've got a corner here. Make it a little easier. There we go. Just got to corner it. Just like you do with any rapid fire hit scanning enemy. Especially on Doom. Like with the chain gun commandos and especially the spider mastermind. I really need to adapt that mindset again. Right. Then you've got the pig cop tank. And my logic with them is get behind them as quickly as possible. Oh shit. Unfortunately, I did not have a corner here. Oh boy. Shit. Shit, 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 show. Shit, 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 show. You're, you're going down first. Because the pig cop tanks are clearly too stupid to live. And I do mean that in the most generous way. Actually, no, in the most... In the most insulting way, actually, but, you know... There we go, one down. And it blew up on the other one, so it probably did some damage to it. Not that it matters, because I planned to one-hit it. Ow. Well, I took some damage from the explosion, but whatever, I'll take it. I would have taken far more damage had he hit me. Well, had I tried to take him down the normal way. Also, I have a fire hydrant here, so technically, I can gain back health any time I want. Well, whenever it's below 100. And now it's on 100, so any damage I take from here on out will be fixable. Kinda. Asshole. Yay, soul. Quit being an asshole. Oh boy. See, uh, I did, it happened. I got it below 100. This bus can't go above, below 100, otherwise it will just drink water and be fine. Cause you know, that's how that works. That was, um, interesting. Must be a ticket booth or something. <clears throat> Seems like there's a, a stadium in there. Maybe a football stadium. American football. Dude, dude, must die. How clever. How creative. I'll use that against them. And the shotgun against these guys. Oh, or not. Because I didn't have enough time to switch over. Because he... The asshole had to jump me quickly. Whatever. Doesn't matter that much. As long as I've got an infinite amount of water, I'll be just fine. Let that be a lesson. I always stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water. That's what Duke Nukem is trying to send the message for. This is a game where Royd abuses a thing and is going to try to, you know, teach a positive message. Drink water. Drink water to wash it down with, if you know what I mean. That one, when you pop them, at least you'll have it to wa water it down with. You know, if it's in pill form. If it comes in pill form, anyway. Hey. No. No flying allowed. It is verboten. What did I just say? What did I just freaking say? I said... Do not fly! It is verboten! Do not know how to listen to me! Who knows how to listen to me? I guess I'll have to teach you a painful lesson, won't I? Now, as I was saying, flying is verboten. Unless you're Duke Nukem. But you're not Duke Nukem, are you? That's why I thought. Little bitch. So do not fly, it is verboten. Unless you are Duke Nukem. And then they'll make a clone of Duke Nukem that can fly. A non-alien version of Duke Nukem. There, is that better? For your sensibilities? Also, I can't find a key anywhere. 
Then again, maybe I'm meant to fly. I say flying is verboten, but for Duke Nukem, apparently flying is required. Or not. Evidently, the glass is unbreakable. Great. Forget diamond is unbreakable, Duke Nukem 3D's glass is sometimes unbreakable. I can't say it's always unbreakable, because a lot of the time it is unbreakable, but I don't know, sometimes, especially in this level set, it will make it will make glass breakable just to have locked doors. Because otherwise you'd be able to bypass getting some keys. Like that, like then. Or just bypass going to get the key right there if that doesn't require a key to get into it? I don't know. Interesting how this music has a police siren in it. What do we have here? Hey, buddy. It's good to see you. Kill you. Well, um, isn't that lovely? Oh, boy. We got a lot here. We got a live one here. We got a lot of live ones here, actually. Including... Yep, a battle lord. As if enforcers weren't bad enough. And the worst part is you can't easily corner them either. Because then they'll just throw martyrs at you. Mortars. Mortars. I don't know how to pronounce it. You know what I mean? The explosive, not um, people who sacrifice themselves for a cause. Mortars. I believe that's how you pronounce it. You know what I mean. Hello. Hello, friend. Where are you? Dillweed. Dillweed. Oh, boy. He waited deliberately until I was in a good spot for the explosive radius to hit me, didn't he? What a prick. Ow. That kind of hurt. Don't appreciate it. At all. Where's this place? I can't wait. Oh, I see. I see. Clever. That's how we get over here. It did require a key. That's why it was broken. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> oh, what's this? Extremely high voltage. Well, I don't need safety gloves, because I'm Homer Simp. He died a sim. If you know what I mean. I love how it just makes the kick sound because it sounds like someone tapping a microphone. Where is it? <clears throat> oh, is that just in case the elevator goes down? Let's test it. Wow, um, nice elevator texture. I don't even know what this is for. It's probably just decoration, I'm guessing. Yep. So, screw it then. Let's just go ahead and go on, shall we? Kind of weird that that had a regular wall texture, though, that just, you know, moved downward. That's weird. Just saying. Just saying, buddy boy. But whatever, it's whatever. Let's just go ahead and go over to the blue door, wherever that is. It's probably somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, I think it was over here. Uh, no, no, it's not. It was clearly over here somewhere. Some general area, I don't know. Maybe it was up here. Maybe it was with the Battle Lord. I don't freaking know. But I will find out. And I will probably go over there. Oh. I see. I can't even go over there. Well, that's lovely. So, all those enemies, they're now unfightable. Isn't that great? I mean, maybe they're on ground level and I could drop some pipe bombs down there, but... I don't think I'm gonna... Groovy. Maybe I gotta go this way. Yeah, this seems... this seems about right. Hey, buddy. Ow. That hurt a lot. Why would you do to me like that? <clears throat> don't do me like that! Don't do me like that! Well, come on, baby! Don't do me like that! You do me like that! You son of a bitch! I will kill you dead! You did me! You did me like that! 
Why did you do me like that? Why did you do me like that? <clears throat> what did I ever do to you besides try to kill you and everyone you love? What do I have here? Oh, look at that! That door is open now. Hey, <laughs> buddy! <sighs> oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> it's like another perspective on that. It's neat. It's very neat. I classify that under neat. Neat. What the hell? Okay, then. An elevator. Oh, that's even neater. <clears throat> Let's just, um... Oh, okay, about to say. Let me down there. Better not be a one-way elevator, otherwise I'm gonna be pissed off. Because I got some shit I didn't pick up the first time around. Mostly that. Because, I mean, I never even used the Devastator. <laughs> it's kind of funny how much ammo I've got for the Devastator. Oh. Okay, I did manage to grab one of them. I guess I wasn't nearly full. But I rarely use it, which is funny because this is the one weapon in the game that you actually have ample ammo for. Holy crap, 250. No wonder I was able to grab one. You get a crap ton of Devastator ammo. I need to use this. I mean, it's almost the end anyway. I think there's only two more levels to go after this. So yeah, I should probably start spamming the Devastator. Also, I just remembered there was another area that was opened up. So yeah, that was um, awkward. Sorry about that. Thank you. What do we have next? We have Sky High, baby! Sky High. And uh, I'm a man of my word, so I'm gonna start using this more often. Well, you know, if I have a reason to. Anything that I can't deal with using this, I will use the Devastator. I'm gonna use all rapid fire weapons, baby. Okay, what the hell is that? A one way only area with the shadow? That's weird. That's a glitch. Glitching it up, baby! Glitching it freaking up. Oh, great, an elevator that doesn't even work. Is it supposed to work? That's the question. I don't even know what's a glitch and what's just not supposed to be working. That's the unfortunate thing about this. It confuses the hell out of me. There must have been a lot of oversights on, this, on these levels. And I understand levels that are made by people not being necessarily the most um, ambitious in terms of detail and scope and things like that, but um, something obvious like this, where things just don't work, that becomes a little less, that becomes a little harder to justify, you know? Just saying. Oh boy. Take this. I'll turn no clip off when I have a chance. Okay, there we go. I find it weird that it turns the crosshair off even if you're currently typing in a cheat code. If it recognizes that you're doing it in a certain sequence, like DN, CL, before you do I, it should not turn off your crosshair because you shouldn't. It should recognize that you're not trying to do that. Okay, I'm going to assume that I was in fact supposed to be able to use that elevator because this elevator works. And that's my only assumption there. I mean, it's probably the closest thing to reasonable. Oh, was I supposed to jetpack up here? See, that's the problem. I don't know what's what's up anymore. Maybe I was supposed to go up here. So, just in case, I burned through some jetpack to get up here. Then we'll just pretend I came up here this way. My bad. Sorry. Oh look, blue screen of death. Isn't that cute? Custom, custom textures just to do things like that is always so amazing, isn't it? What's with the bookcases? Um, they clearly go nowhere, so I was bamboozled. We've been backstabbed, we've been scammed, and we've been quite possibly bamboozled. And the file cabinet, too. That's, um, that's lovely. So, um, where do I go? None of the doors want to open. 
And again, I can't tell if that's intentional or not. I don't know. I'm not the developer. Unless I go... Unless there is no other way to proceed, though, I'm not going to... I'm not going to assume that I'm supposed to be able to. I don't want to risk cheating. Knowingly cheating. Feck. Okay, I said I was going to use this. I need to actually start using this. Quickly clear out this area. A bit. Oh, shit. Shit. I took less damage than I should have, considering I took, like, two explosions to the face. Nice. For taking two explosions to the face, I, I came out of that pretty intact. I must say. Look at that. that this is just, um... A plain room with the default gray texture that's ugly as sin. I don't know what that was, what this is supposed to represent. Maybe it was the first room that was made by the map editor and they just decided to keep it there for posterity. I don't know. All I can do is speculate. And I'm probably completely <clears throat> off and overthinking things. As I tend to do. Oh, isn't that nice? I love how the water is static too. What do I have here, though? Is there anywhere I can actually go? Because it doesn't seem like it. I don't see any key cards. I don't see any anything, actually. Go ahead and pop a med kit. Because, I mean, when else am I going to use it, right? Hmm, actually, maybe it's in one of these cabinets. Because uh, Duke, proper Duke 3D levels did that. They would hide keys in there. This one, however, does not. These level sets do not hide key cards in there. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go either. All I know is that there is a room that is full of the default texture, which is, which is kind of weird to me. And I'm going to kick a chair. Why? Well, why not? Where is it? Science isn't about why. Thank you, Mr. Cave Johnson. Oh, that's great. So, I could never use that in the first place. Maybe I was supposed to jetpack up here. Or maybe I wasn't, I don't know. Is there a key card up here? At least tell me there's a key card up here. I mean, I'm willing to go through every single area just to make it fair. I mean, if I gave myself keys to circumvent whatever this is, I would still make sure I go to every area just for fairness, but I'm not even sure if this is intentional or not. Also, funny how these are like dual-sided monitors. I wonder if that would be a thing. I wonder if anyone's ever done that. A computer monitor, like, it's like dual-sided. So maybe if there are people working on something in a desk, maybe it would accept two outputs. Who knows? That would be interesting. Like if they just took the insides of two monitors and then melded them to get, welded them together or something. Put them into some kind of special casing. That'd actually be pretty cool. Don't know why I'm thinking about theoretical things like that, it just seems weird. Okay, but seriously though, I have no idea where I'm going and uh, there doesn't appear to be any way forward. So I'm gonna do a more thorough sweep. Oh, wait. Okay, good. I didn't give up. I was about to say hang tight, but no, I don't need to. <clears throat> now let's see what that do that uh, button actually did. If it actually did anything. Didn't do anything in here, that's for sure. Unless it did something in here. Nope. It probably did something somewhere in some point in time. Then again, I don't know. N nobody knows. Who the hell could possibly know? <clears throat> okay, it didn't activate the elevator. Maybe it opened a door or something. That'd be great. Like over here? Nope. Clearly not. Unless it unlocked one of them. But then I think it would show a message saying unlocked. I think that's usually what happens if a door becomes unlocked. Then again, I've got no idea. I'm just getting becoming um, very much drained at this point. What did that even do? Didn't seem to do anything. Like seriously, it didn't seem to do shit. What was the point of this? Also, I love how this elevator has a sound, but the other one didn't. There are so many things about this level set that are just botched, kinda. 
Okay, clearly that is not interactable, so... I still have no idea where I'm going, so hang tight real quick. Seems my hunch was correct. It did unlock this door. I guess I was wrong earlier. It doesn't give you a pop-up saying that something has been unlocked. It just unlocks it. My bad. I gave it too much credit, clearly. At least I had a hunch. It's a good thing I did. Hopefully now I'm on track. There. That one's probably gonna revive because they have a small chance of reviving, which is always 100% whenever I don't, whenever I don't need it to be. And again, I could just use a pipe bomb to prevent prevent him from coming back. I did hear of. Okay, there we go. Newsroom. Interesting. Oh boy. That probably wasn't the best idea. Ah, screw it. Like I said, only um, one more level after this. Darn it. There we go. I'm running out of ammo of a lot of types, so. Pipe bombs it is. Spamming pipe bombs down your gullet. That works for me. Hope it works for you. If not, I don't really give a toss. I don't really give a toss, man. But I tell you what, man, I'm talking about the dangle toss, man. I'm talking about that dangle, don't give a toss, man. Ha! Huh. They may avoid projectiles, but they don't know how to avoid pipe bombs for shit. They're not nearly as smart as you would think. I think these guys tend to blow themselves up. If you qu turn that corner quickly enough. Okay, let's get this over with. Presumably Cycloid Emperor. Let's be real. It's gonna be the Cycloid Emperor. Yep, rooftop. I guess it always comes down to this, doesn't it? Even in a level set, it always comes down to this. Ah, shit. Fuck. I just wanted it to be more exciting with the Duff blimp, you know? Fine. I know how to make it. I know how to do it. I can just, uh, fly. Oh, I can't even get up that far. Fine. Oh, I see. I can't even hit it. I can't even hit it. It's in the freaking skybox. Fine. Be that way. Let's see how good your tracking is. My tracking is pretty damn good. Okay, your tracking is pretty good too. I'll give you that. I guess I should probably pay attention to your projectiles, huh? Why indeed? Oh fuck! That time I walked right into it. I got over 200, 200 of these though. All I gotta do is keep it up. All I gotta do is, um, outrun them. Well, that was easy. I barely used half. You realize this is a rooftop, right, Duke Nukem? Yeah, I like the CG movies, Care. Game over. Game over indeed. Game over indeed, my friend. My name's Duke Nukem. Bitchin'. Anyway, that has been Duke 3D American Assault. I hope you enjoyed it. Despite some of the problems and other times apparently me t misinterpreting things, because I guess I was supposed to jetpack up there. So sorry about no clipping. In my defense, I'm an idiot who can't see anything. But anyway, that's beside the point. That's going to have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the Cycloid Emperor's eye. It's trajectory through the world, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon, or just check out the end screens right here.